When you find out that you got accepted to Hogwarts, which I'm speaking from experience here, one of the first things on your list to get will be a pet. But why travel all the way to Diagon Alley to get a pet when you can build one? P.S. This project was inspired by a bot tuber who goes by Brainergizer. The link to his original project that inspired this one and the link to his channel will be in the description. So, for your toad bot, you are going to need one geared DC motor, a switch, a AAA battery holder that holds three AAA batteries, three AAA batteries to go inside the triple AAA battery holder. You're gonna need one length of wire with the end strip. I think mine was about six and a half inches. Uh, you probably could get away with six. I just wanted to give myself plenty of room. You're going to need two PVC pipe legs, two leg attachment pieces, which we've made out of aluminum and duct tape, one wooden thing, that is long and one wooden thing that is short. A front piece, this is half of a small Mentos gum container, you're welcome. Two 256 inch screws and nuts, a roll of green duct tape, and one toad sole increasement charm. In terms of tools, you're gonna need a glue gun with the glue in it, a soldering iron with the soldering iron fixin', some scotch tape, and a tiny screwdriver for the tiny screw. <laughs> if you're doing this project from home, you're also gonna need wire strippers and possibly a Dremel with a small attachment. Step one, you're gonna take the legs of your toad bot, this type of wheel slash robot propeller is often called a wig, FYI. You're gonna wrap the whole thing in duct tape except for a little square of white at the top of the inside so that it's easier to glue to the leg attachment pieces later on. And then you're gonna glue some treads so it can propel itself into high... What? Next, you're gonna take your motor screws, nuts, and leg attachment pieces, and you're gonna screw the leg attachment pieces into the output shafts like so. Our output shafts have pre-drilled holes. If yours don't, you're gonna need to make little tiny holes inside the output shaft so you can screw it into the same place we did. Then add a little hot glue for strength. Then you're gonna glue the bare parts of the legs onto the attachment pieces and add a little more glue for security. Set that aside for a second, now let's assemble the body. You're gonna cover the curve of your front piece in duct tape, and then you're gonna glue the front piece onto the long wooden thing like so, make sure that the ends are lined up, then glue on the short wooden thing to the front of both of those. Next step, you're gonna cut your battery holder wire to around three inches just so you don't have a ton of extra wire hanging around, and you're gonna strip those new ends. This is what the electrical circuit looks like for your toad bot. It's pretty much like the bug bot with the battery pack motor and switch. I'm gonna pop in the batteries and tape the connections down where I'm gonna solder them later on. This is just a test to make sure everything's working as it should. So you're gonna switch the switch to on, confirm that the wigs are moving in the right direction to move forward, which should look like this. If they're moving backwards, try swapping the wires on the motors. Time to solder. If you need a refresh on how to properly solder, I have a link to that tutorial in the description. Always remember to tin, wipe after every connection, and lightly tin before putting away. Just pop the batteries out and solder each connection that we had taped. An easy way to solder to the motor and switch is to run the wires through the little loop, wrap it, and then solder. And if you forget safety glasses, Now that we have the circuit done, we're gonna glue the body onto the motor, being sure to leave a little margin off the back. Then you're gonna glue the electrical components onto the body like so. Make sure that the legs can clear the battery pack and cover the top of the battery pack in duct tape. Finally, glue on that toad sole increasement charm and you're ready to go. Now you're all ready for Hogwarts. I mean, you'll need other stuff too, but Let's face it, the pets are all that really matters, am I right? Bye! And then, can you make it go? <laughs> and you Okay, can you run it? It's so cute, like, oh my god, you guys. It's so cute! So cool.